we knew Hebbing would be a, a stern test because they've, they've done fantastically well. Uh, I've seen them play already this season. I had them watched last week, um, and it was a big day for them. It was a, a cup final for them, and uh, to be fair, they've showed a spirited performance, but there was no doubt in the result, I think. All right, boys, you know games, which is minus. Enjoy. Catch you, Bill, please. Away team call. Never feels. Where tempo we play was uh, somewhat laboured, I'd say. We played everything in front of them, never got in behind them, and, and then we were relatively comfortable, although we dominated the play. We never. I looked at the, the stats in the first half, I think we had five attempts at goal, and three of them. Uh, from open play, sail over the crossbar. And we had to be patient, and uh, they held it well in the first half, I'd have to say, Heaven. We knew we had to step it up and play with a bit more tempo and a bit more uh, purpose, and we did that in the second half. First goal was a delivery from the wide area, which we've been working on in, in, in training this week. And John Shaw gets on the end of them. He thrives on crosses from wide areas. Greg backs that cross with a great header. Give the goalkeeper no chance. Once we got the first goal, um, it was somewhat bit more difficult for Heaven to get into the game, and they were on the back foot for the full second half. Second goal was a great delivery from a wide area for from Martin Britton. John Shaw again taking it. Attempted goal was saved by the goalkeeper and he, he put the rebound in with a bit of composure. But it was just a matter of time whether we we'll score three, four, five. We dominated the procedures and I think uh, the corner count 12 to 1 and a 23 to, to 3. Goals attempts showed that we were the dominant side. And the third goal, again from a set piece, uh, Martin Britton played a short ball in uh, Nathan Fisher. A fantastic curl shot in the, in the goalkeeper's top corner, so it was a great finish. But like I said, we're probably a little bit disappointed we never added to the, the three goal tally we, we got this afternoon. You know, we're on a no-win situation here at Gateshead, playing a, a team like Heaven. You know, we knew they'd be spirited, and uh, like I said, they've came here and they haven't disgraced themselves, and they've been a credit to the supporters who have came to watch. We've got a, uh, it was a great support. Some 1,200 supporters have came out to watch the game the, the day, which is credit to them. And uh, like I said, it was great endeavour from Heaven, but uh, there was no doubt we deserved to win the game. It's massive for the club. I think coming into the first round proper. Um, uh, May X club press North End, you have Sheffield United, Sheffield Wednesday, uh, some big, big clubs, Huddersfield Town are doing extremely well, so there's big clubs coming in the next round anyway, so in an ideal world we'll, we'd love to have a, a handpick a draw to, to be at home against a, another lower uh, league team, um, but you, you kind of pick the draw and to try to progress into the third round proper to get one of the big boys, but... Um, that's a dream that you know the players uh, Harbour and and we do as a football club, and it's a great opportunity. It's a financial windfall for the club as well. I think it was twelve and a half thousand for the the Vic test today. Looking to progress into the next round, that goes up. So again, when if you get a, the look of the draw and you get one of the big boys in there, it may be a televised game. So an opportunity for all lads to to pit the wits against uh, quality players.